Welcome to the DC Brushless Motor System Setup Tutorial. This tutorial shows you how to use the system setup software to configure a DC brushless permanent magnet synchronous motor for use with a direct PWM amplifier directly connected to PowerPMAC. To access the system setup software from within the PowerPMAC IDE, click on Tools, then System Setup. The first step is to set your clock frequencies. You should always set your clock frequency such that you can successfully control the highest bandwidth motor in your system. The two clock frequencies about which you first need to be concerned are the servo rate and the phase rate. The servo rate is the rate at which PMAC computes the output of the servo control algorithm. A general rule of thumb is to set your servo frequency to be at least 10 times that of the highest expected closed loop bandwidth for all motors in your system. Generally, the default servo clock is sufficient for most applications. Typically, you can safely double your phase and servo clocks from default in PowerPMAC if desired. The servo clock must be a divisor of the phase clock. The servo clock is directly related to the motor calculation and servo update rate, which includes reading the feedback device and commanding an output to the motor. Higher servo frequencies result, in general, in improved performance. You may need a higher servo clock for high-speed or precision applications, synchronizing to external events, performing position capture compare at high rates, or for kinematics calculations. Hardware such as high-resolution encoders, for example serial or sinusoidal, linear motors, and galvanometers usually benefit greatly from higher servo rates as well. The phase rate is the rate at which PMAC computes the output of the commutation algorithm and the current loop control algorithm. These algorithms are only for motors that PMAC is commutating. A general rule of thumb for setting the phase clock is to set it at least twice that of the servo clock. You should also set your PWM clock frequency. If you are using an accessory 24E2, you have to set this globally for the whole card, but if you are using an accessory 24E3 or other gate 3 style access interface, you can set the PWM frequency for each channel. In the system setup software, you can easily modify your phase frequency simply by typing the desired frequency in kilohertz here. Then, you can select the servo frequency from a drop-down menu corresponding to the phase frequency you entered. And if you have an accessory 24E3, you can click the plus sign next to that card, and then right-click any of the channels on the access interface card, and select a PWM frequency from a drop-down menu corresponding to the phase frequency that you selected. You can compute the minimum required PWM frequency based off of the resistance and inductance of your motor's coils according to the following formula. The PWM frequency in Hertz must be greater than 20 times the phase-to-phase -phase resistance in ohms divided by 2 pi times the phase-to-phase -phase inductance in Henry's. Once you are happy with the clock settings you've selected, click the Accept button. DC brushless motors are somewhat more difficult to configure than DC brush motors because they are commutated. This means that PMAC has to keep track of the position of the motor's rotor and energize coils according to a commutation algorithm in order to keep the motor's torque output optimal. Because of this, PMAC also needs to use ADCs, or analog to digital converters, to read the current values in each phase of the motor, bring them into the current loop algorithm, compute how much current to command to each phase, and then command them through the commutation algorithm. 